Hello everyone, in this video I'll be introducing the Corner M2. So first, let's take a look at the Edge M2. So what that is, is pretty much something like this, which pretty much simulates an M2. Like on Theory 3, you can see the pieces are moving in this fashion, like that. So how the simple out works is pretty simple. First off, you bring this block kind up and this block kind of down, like that. Then you're moving these edges out of the way, these four edges. And then you're moving the blocks back like that. So the blocks are preserved, but these edges are changed in an M2 fashion. So now let's try to do this with corners. Let's do one slice first as usual. So instead of kicking out these edges like this for the M2, we're actually doing a corner M2. So we'll kick out these corners like that. Same for the bottom layer, we're gonna kick out some corners like that. Now we do a slice back and we just did a corner M2. You'll see that these blocks are preserved as usual for an M2 fashion AUG and these corners are moving in an M2 fashion like that. This may be more visible if you do something like that. So really how is this AUG helpful? There's actually a lot of applications of it and it works mostly with corner swaps. So for normal Vandenberg this really isn't used too much because in Vandenberg you always solve the corners first then the edges so there really isn't any need to preserve the edges while doing the corners which is why the corner M2 isn't really used. But for advanced corner techniques like OBL and PBL, sometimes you want to preserve the edges and only manipulate the corners. And that's pretty much why this M2 comes in handy quite a bit. Alright, so I'll show a few applications of this ALG right now. I won't show all of them because there is actually quite a bit, but I think some of these will introduce this ALG to you guys. So of course for this OBL, when you have only two corners on the bottom, two corners on top, you can easily solve this with an M2 with the corners, like that. But mostly the M2 is used a lot in PBL. So let's first go through some EPs that use the M2 with the edges. So first, M2, U2, M2. That solves this op op swap. And you can do something pretty similar with the corner M2s. M2, U2, M2. And that solves opposite swaps like that. Or PN, PN. For edge swaps, it's a slice into an M2, into another slice. And that solves adjacent, adjacent. Same thing happens with corners. If you do a slice and then an M2 and then fix the slice again, you get an adjacent swap for the corners or PJ, PJ. For the edges, if you do M2, U prime M2, U prime M2, you can solve O op. So yeah, that's a pretty nice out for that EP. For the corners, you can do something pretty similar. You can solve the opposite corners and then an O perm with the corners or O PN. So M2, U prime M2, U prime M2, that solves this case. So for people who don't really do PBL, this is quite a horrible case because you have to do an N term first, then you have to do um, O, which is quite annoying, but you can just avoid that whole thing if you know how to do M2s with corners and just solve that with six slices. Also for Z perms, for the edges, you can do something like this, M2, U, M2, U prime M2, that's like a Z perm right there. With the corner M2, you can solve the E perm like this. So M2, U, M2, U prime M2. And that solves this E perm. Just like that. Pretty simple. Here's another case that people might dislike for doing CP then EP, which is this case, you got E perm then H perm. Here's a solution that's not optimal, but it is a bit better than CP EP for the solution. So here just do an op op swap with the corners again. So M2. U2, M2, and then now we got OPN, and you can just do this out pretty simply. So yeah, that's my brief introduction on the corner M2. If you do eventually learn PBL, you're going to notice that this corner M2 will be in a lot of your ALGs. A lot of times you want to manipulate how the edges move around and how the corners move around, and a lot of times you're going to have to cancel M2 ALGs with corner M2 ALGs. Something like maybe the T perm, when you have an op swap here and an edge swap here. You can do something like this, slice and do a corner M2 and then do a regular edge M2, and then solve it. That switches these two, like that, and then these two. So yeah, for this PBL, that is a pretty nice out to solve it. And yeah, there's a lot of applications for this M2, so I think it's quite useful to learn it for a lot of PBL stuff. So there we go, that is my brief introduction on this corner M2. Thanks for watching.